Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights! When last we left off, we managed to defeat the two corrupted dragons that were guarding the entrance to the inner sanctum. And while we're here, Sorry. let's actually open up this treasure chest. And it has... Ooh! I have never seen that um, graphic for an amulet before. Let's see what this amulet does. I'm actually curious, this is the last time we'll be coming Ooh, back here. The last time. What does it do? Ooh. That's quite nice. It's got a lot of cool item. Well, a lot of cooler spells that I can use. We'll be holding on to that. Uh, that's pretty much all we need to do here. We actually have all that we need. We are ready. Pretty much. There is no more that we can get from uh, Neverwinter here. We'll pay the fee of 400 gold and head back to the uh, Source Stone Sanctuary. When we head through these doors and into the very inner part of the Sanctum, the, uh, the Stone of Recall will stop working. We will be too far into the Source Stone itself for it to work. It will literally be the point of no return. The point of no return will have been reached, and we will basically be on our own. Just us, and all the equipment that we have here. And I hope that it's enough, because if it's not enough, well... It's not enough. Should be, though. Ah, it's a fire elemental. Let's just cover this fire elemental in stone. Nothing bad could happen there, and we'll start buffing up our party, because who knows what we might encounter when we actually go into the uh, sanctuary itself. I think it's that resist elements that was actually doing a lot of um, a lot of uh, work while we were fighting those dragons. The reason why uh, basically uh, we survived and uh, the elemental didn't that we'd summoned. Death Ward. There we go. I want this. And this. And this. And why not? We'll have both strength too. I think we're as ready as we'll ever be to head into the uh, inner sanctum. Into the end part of the game. The very end of the game. It's been a long, long trek. But let's go. You know, we could just climb this wall. We could just literally climb over that. There's a key, and a key. And here it is, the entrance in. Do you have anything you want to say before we go on? Yes? Is there something you need? Now is not the time for you to leave, Sharwin. Definitely not. Now is not the time for you to leave. I sort of need you. I need all of the companions I could get. Well, let's go in. We are now in the Inner Sanctum. There is no way back. There is no way back. We are now stuck. <laughs> this is literally the end game. The end game is here. I sort of need my companions to move out the way. But there we go. <laughs> what is in here? Done and done. Sort of the uh, commiseration ice arrows of, well, you're stuck here now. Have fun. All right, off we go. We let's need... chat. Let's chat a bit. Okay, let's chat. So the end draws near, eh? I suppose all tales must end sooner or later. Any regrets, Sarkin? A few, perhaps. Truly, perhaps you will forget them once this is finally over. All of Faerun will celebrate you as a true hero after this. You know that, don't you? I won't be the only hero, Sharwin. <laughs> That's kind of you to say, Sarkin. Regardless, you will be one of the you will be the one the bards write of when they tell you your legend. Well, there we go. I don't think that's entirely true. Hello there. Oh, we can just keep uh, we can just keep doing this uh, conversation. Also, there is that option. Does that count? Uh, actually, uh, we're not going to be doing that one because uh, we have the whole sudden romance with Arabeth going on. So uh, we'll just go through this again. But uh, let's.
let's, um, let's move on, shall we? Let us move on. That does count as us having done that dialogue, I take it. Also, she's got a different uh, sound let's now. Let's chat a bit. Okay. Yes? Is there something you need? Uh, I think that bugged out yes. a little, but uh, <laughs> we have done that dialogue, which is important. Now, here's a door. This door is not locked. Was that a potion of heal? That was a potion of heal. Ah, a projection of Morag. Though only a projection, there is no denying the Im the Im imperious cruelty of Morag, queen of the old ones. Wow, these aren't very tough. We are the masters, the creators, the old ones. <laughs> Are you? Long have we slept, and in our absence, the lesser races have grown bold! The slaves act as kings, building cities and nations, and laying claim to that which is ours! Tear down the cities! Death to the warm bloods! Hadrilin and the word slaves have betrayed us, abandoning us to our exile within the Source Stone. Death to the traitors! Ha! Death to the word slaves! The time of awakening has come! The creators shall rise again and unleash vengeance on the world that has forgotten us! Heal, Morag! <sighs> Lead us to vengeance! A storm of fire shall banish the endless winter! <sighs> the city of slaves! Oh, oh, we may have interrupted them! Let's see what she was going to say. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go loot this barrel, and then suddenly they decided to, uh... The storm of fire shall banish the endless winter. The city of slaves shall be utterly consumed by the flames of our rebirth. Okay. They only just noticed we were there, I mean... Unfortunately, Morax chosen here were probably just chosen to die. This cleric is very unimpressive, and so are these chosen here. We defeated dragons to get to you guys. We defeated dragons. Let's merely say you are not impressive. How many orcs are you worth? Was that two experience? Yep, yeah, you are now orcs of experience. We're now going to start measuring things in Morag's Chosen. How many Morag's Chosen is this? That was very underwhelming. I was expecting that fight to be a lot tougher than it was. As soon as I saw Effortless, however, well, there you go. Lots of potions of heal are now being thrown my way. Does the game expect I'm going to have to use them? Probably. Where is the bag with all the healing potions in it? Can I not stack potions of heal bigger than five? I can. Or oh, those potions of, uh, there you go. We'll put the potions of heal here. That seems like an important thing to do. There's potions of lesser restoration. Yeah, potions of heal we definitely need to keep there. So, let's go. We are actually very, very, very close to the end of the game here. Done and done. That might actually be the last fight before... Wow, another potion of heal. This might actually be the last fight before the, uh, the actual final fight itself. There's a potion of heal. There we go. We now have nine potions of heal, which is pretty handy. So basically... Once you, uh, there is a sort of strategy to her fight. You have to sort of, uh, slay certain enemies. You have to slay enemies in a certain order. And once you do that, you'll then be able to, uh, basically fight Morag herself. We probably, if we, uh, there's one particular thing that we will pick that, uh, we need to be very careful about. By the way, this is the last barrel. You know what it has in it? Another potion of heal. Because apparently, we need more of those. Apparently, the game said we need ten potions of full healing. Ten. That is a lot of healing, the game says we suddenly need. Alright. 
Let's see what's going on in here. Okay, this says final fight to me. Hello, Morag. How are you? You are powerful for a slave. You have slain Morgrim, the prophet who heralded my coming. Yes, yes I did. You have defeated Erebeth, the champion I chose from among my slave races. You have slaughtered many of my warriors and priests. Yes, yes I have. But now you face Moag, Queen of the Old Ones, High Priestess of the Creators. Kneel, slave, and I shall let you live! Your time is over, Morag. The Old One shall not rise again. I shall rip away your flesh and feast upon your soul! Well, that's going to suck. She is currently invulnerable. She is actually currently completely invulnerable. There is nothing that we can currently do to uh, defeat her. At all. There is a blade barrier as well that is blocking access to her. We first need to destroy this statue. This statue Your needs to be destroyed. Rock. Also, these Morag's hands also need to be destroyed. No, no, no. Follow. We need to kill these. Morag is currently completely indestructible. Two Morag's hands need to die. Then we'll need to pick one of these um, protectors here to uh, defeat. We're going to be saving in parts here. We're definitely going to be saving in parts in this fight. You need to come over here. Oh, wow. It's going to be one of those kind of fights, isn't it? It's going to be one of those kind of fights. We're going to need to just destroy that barrier, aren't we, to start with? But, um, yeah, she's actually uh, really, really difficult to actually deal with. This fight will most certainly be in parts. We need to make sure that these spells do not, in fact, kill us. She's actually not going to be that difficult once we actually destroy these um, protectors and the barrier. Mainly the spells are the problem. We need to get out of that. We need to get out of that now. Follow away. Follow. 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 Get out of that. Fair enough. There we go. Morag is now going to come out of this barrier and just decide to start casting spells against us directly. We should, in theory, be able to defeat this Morag's hand and then get rid of this. Oh, hello! Out of that again. That is a horrible spell. That's just a horrible spell. Get rid of this uh, Morax hand. Do you have an unlimited number of that? Oh, we really needed to protect to wear that amulet, didn't we? We probably should have worn that amulet. Probably should have worn that amulet. Also, you'll notice that uh, we are already very low on health. It's just me and Sharwin right now. Come on. There we go. Can we wear that amulet now? Or have I forgot to equip it? There we go. We'll have that amulet on. We'll save right now because we're not doing so badly here. In an odd sort of way. We are not doing too bad. Next, this Pray. barrier so needs to be God destroyed. And to do that, we need to destroy this statue. When this statue is destroyed, we're going to have to use a uh, power attack here, aren't we? and bash this barrier. <laughs> when the barrier dies, we will uh, be able to uh, get rid of one of these. Protector against the sword is probably the one we're going to destroy. She really got a spells. Yeah, she's just casting that all the time. It's not really doing very much, is it? It's really not doing very much. There we go! <laughs> That's gone. The barrier is now defeated. The next step to this fight is that we need to defeat one of the uh, those protectors. We're going to kill the protector against the sword. The protector against the sword will then make... Uh... Oh, hello, time stop. How are you? What are you doing? I have no idea what you're doing, Morag, but you have stopped time. <sighs> You didn't do very much jo- Oh, hello, old one minion. Oh, it's a Grey Render. 
Right, now, now Morag is immune, is uh, vulnerable to physical attacks. Technically. Technically, Morag is immune, is vulnerable. Now we can actually hurt her. And the funny part about this is once you actually get past the, uh, yep, once you actually get past the uh, thing, she's actually really easy. No, I cannot die. I am Morag, queen of the creators. I'm immortal. No, no. Bad news, Morag. Ha <laughs> ha! You are not immortal. And I killed you. And I also got a level. Think it's time to improve that wisdom, don't you think? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, that's not the hardest fight. The hardest part of this fight is actually getting to Morag. There we go. We need to uh, find a way out of here. Yeah, this place is collapsing. This place is collapsing. We need to get out of here right now. Fortunately, we have an astral pocket here. Here is an astral pocket that we can rest in and recuperate, for we have finished the game, effectively. These banners sort of herald our victory. But here it is. Morag, the anticlimactic battle. Quite literally, Morag was not as tough as, um... Morag was actually not as tough as, um... The dragons. Once you get past the, uh... Morag's uh, hands, those two really tough minions, and get past the barrier, and get past her initial barrage of spells, it's actually a really, really easy fight. Also, random effects galore in here. But yes, we have done it. And here is Hedraline. Yep. Here is Hedraline, who is currently at effortless difficulty. In theory, we could, uh... We could kill her, but we're not going to. Hello, Hedraline. How are you? I see you still live, warm blood. I feared you had perished with Morag and the rest of the old ones when the source stone collapsed. What is this place, Hedraline? How did I get here? When you destroyed Morag, you destroyed her magic as well. The world she had created, the Source Stone, crumbled into nothingness. And all trapped within it were utterly consumed. There were still a few old ones lying around, but yeah, they're pretty much gone. I used my magic to open a portal from the collapsing source stone into this astral pocket. A temporary place of refuge between that world and your own. I am glad you found the portal and escaped with your life, warm blood. Thank you! I'm glad to have not died horribly in there, because that would have sucked. My time here grows short. The words of power are broken, and my magic is fading. Soon I will pass from this existence, and this astral pocket will also collapse. Pass from this existence? Are you dying? The time of the creator race is over. There is no place for me in your world now. Just as there was no place for Morag. I have accepted this, Warmblood. You have faced Morag and the Old Ones and triumphed. Even the foul and ancient magics of the Dark Queen could not stand against your might. Or our bear! Don't forget the bear! You are the savior of Neverwinter, warm blood. But you are also much, much more. You have altered the fate 
of not just your own world, but a thousand others that would have fallen to Morag's armies. I only did what had to be done. Few could have faced Morag's power and survived. But even though you have ended the threat of the Creator Race, your work is far from done. I have seen glimpses of what fate awaits you. Don't give me foreshadowing to my own life, Hedraline! That ruins things! Your legend and fame will continue to grow, spreading throughout the North. But Morag will not be the most dangerous foe you face in your lifetime. As you become ever more powerful, so will those who seek to destroy you. What are you talking about? Who seeks to destroy me? There are many who will try to steal that which you have worked so hard for. And others will seek to forge their own legend by destroying you. Your enemies will band together. They will strike when you least expect it. That is the price of fame and fortune. More than this I cannot say. For my magic has grown weak with the destruction of the words of power. And the mists of time cloud my vision. Quickly now, warm blood. I cannot sustain this astral pocket much longer. The portal behind me will return you to your own world. Thank you. I thank you for all you have done. Never again will I be a word slave. Go through the portal, so that I may finally pass to my long-awaited eternal rest. That will be for next time, folks. For when we come back, the ending of Neverwinter Nights. The ending. Or what part of the ending I can show you, because it probably won't do any final ending cutscene, but you never know, it might not be cutscenes. I wonder if we stay here too long, it all just collapses and we die, and then we all just die, but unlikely. This game won't do that. So, oh, we could talk to Sharon, I guess. Yes? Is there something you need? Nope. No change there. So, when we come back, folks, the ending! And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Really, could you have picked a better place, Hedraline? I mean, there's so many, like, special effects going. It's like the game's just trying to show off all these special effects before the very end. Look at all the stuff we didn't get to use! Could be that. I don't know why the victory flags are here, though. Oh well, eh, nice enough. Later.